Okay, I'll go for the second Firecracker here, Fire Spirit as well. Okay, I have Evo Tesla now, and that should be a really clean defense. Man, Evo Tesla is so broken. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing some Hog Rider Earthquake on Top Ladder. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Just going to Fire Spirit the back here, then go for the Firecracker. By the way, guys, I do think this is the best Hog Rider Earthquake deck in the current meta. Alright, this guy does have an Evo Bomber. That could be pretty much anything. I'll just go for the Knight here and then Hog Rider as well. You want to be really aggressive in single elixir, especially when you have a way to block the dagger duchess. Okay, I can log here too just to kill off the guards. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, my log doesn't even take off this guy's guard shields. I guess I'm a little bit underleveled. Unfortunate. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to fire a spirit here for the inferno dragon. I should be all right. Okay, guys, when you're defending a lava hound, you always want to start off with the firecracker in the back first, no matter what. Just so you can cycle to the second firecracker. He might Skeleton Dragon Soul this Knight here at the bridge just to block them. Okay, I'll have my Tesla ready in case he wants to balloon. He does Skeleton Dragons on the Knight, so that's fine. I'll Tesla too as well. Just to help take care of the Lava Hound, I'll Skelly's Fire Spirit, and then I have to Evolved Firecracker as well. Sucks that I have to use the Evolved Firecracker so early, but it's better to use it than just to lose the entire game. Alright. I hope he doesn't really have a way to kill it. That'd be really nice for me. If he doesn't have anything, okay, he Evo Bombers, but that wasn't really that great. It only gets one shot, and he still has to defend it again. <laughs> All night here. Okay, he goes for the Zap, but I can just go for the Hog Rider behind this, and I know he's going to go for the Guards. I'll just pre-log here on the Guards. Not bad. Maybe two shots? Oh, okay, I only got one. I don't even need to defend that, really, because of the Dagger Duchess being fully reloaded. <laughs> man, Dagger Duchess needs a, such a big nerf, man. Alright, he'll probably Lava. I'll just go for the Firecracker in the back early again, like always. I could go for the Knight Hog Rider at the bridge, but I want a Tesla first, just to get to the Evolved Tesla. I might go for the Knight Hog Rider now. Yeah, I will. Hog Rider now. I can log for the Bomber as well, just to finish it off if it gets shot by the Knight. Either way, that should be two Hog Rider shots. Okay, I'll go for the second Firecracker here, Fire Spirit as well. Okay, I have Evo Tesla now, and that should be a really clean defense. Man, Evo Tesla is so broken. Wait, he missed a zap. Oh, it didn't even matter. I'll just knight here. <laughs> Man, Lava Hound can be really tricky sometimes, but if you play it really well, sometimes it can feel quite easy, actually. I'll go for the Evolved Firecracker like this. If he lavas in front, it doesn't even matter because it's just going to target the Lava Hound immediately. I can Tesla here and then log for the Evo Bomber. I'm going to have to knight here to block it too. Okay, he goes for the arrows. I'll just skeletons. And he zaps too. I can just go for another Firecracker. This is why cycling Firecracker right away against Lava Hound is so good. Just because by the time they arrows it, you'll be back to a second one and they won't be able to kill that one unless they have the Evo Zap. But usually they have to Evo Zap your evolved one. Okay, I can just Tesla here. <laughs> yeah. Skeletons as well to block the Inferno Dragon. I'm just going to go for the Fire Spirit here. I need to be careful. I do have a Evo Tesla though. I feel like every time he's able to catch me without having a second Firecracker, I have Evo Tesla. Oh, and that was a really bad balloon. So I'm going to go for the Night Hog Rider. Or I could even Evolve Firecracker. Okay, I'm going to Knight the Bridge, bait out the Inferno Dragon or Skelly Drags. I'm going to Evolve Firecracker, predict it. And then I Hog Rider. And that is going to be good game. Let's go. I'll pre-log for the guards here. <laughs> nice win. Man, that guy got completely outplayed. We're in the next match here against Adam Noon. <laughs> I don't know what this guy is playing. Usually he does play with Elixir Golem. Okay, it actually probably is going to be Elixir Golem. Sometimes he plays with Golem as well though, so I don't really want to assume too quickly. I'll Hog Rider here with my Firecracker. Oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bro, how am I going to defend this? I'm down like 7 Elixir. Guys, if I don't lose my tower here, you have to subscribe. I actually don't think there's any way that I save my tower here. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to Tesla here on defense, see what this guy wants to do with this. Okay, I can Knight as well. He did mess up by putting his Skeleton King in the same lane as the Night Witch. Okay, I'm going to Firecracker all the way over here. He could go for the arrows. I'll just log on the E-Golem blobs right away, then go for my Knight. Wait, I have Earthquake for the Skeleton King ability. If he goes for it, I can Earthquake here. Wait, I think I defended. Hold up. Hold up. No way I just defended Fire Spirit and then Skeletons to kite away the bats. No way I just defended that. <laughs> Wait, that was actually the best defense I've ever done, I think. I literally only took like 200 damage. What? 
Man, that's actually incredible. I don't know how I kept my tower there, not to mention barely took any damage at all. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm still down about four elixir, and he has the elixir collector down, but I think it's not the end of the world. I'll just finish off the tower here with my log. I don't know if I'll be able to defend in double elixir, though. I think I should be able to because I have the evolved firecracker and also the evolved tesla coming up. I'll just knight the back to play like a waiting move. See what this guy wants to do. Okay, he e golems the back. I'll Tesla here in the middle. I just need to play like a little bit of defense to win. I'm going to Evolved Firecracker. Man, if, if I defend this push, I win. I'll Fire Spirit maybe to predict the Evolved Bats. Oh, okay. He just goes for the Rage. That was well played by him. I'm going to scale. He's here, Knight. If I play perfectly, I think I can defend this. I'm going to log here. He's going to go for another e golem. Oh, it's in the back, not at the bridge. Okay, well, interesting. At least I have another Firecracker down. Even if this does go to the opposite lane, I'll still be able to go for a second Firecracker in the same lane. Okay, I'll Firecracker opposite lane because I don't want to give him arrows value. Perfect. And then I have Evo Tesla here for the Evolved Bats. Evo Tesla should get a ton of value right here. <laughs> Was that the most satisfying Tesla you guys have ever seen? That just killed so many bats. Okay, I'm going to Evo Firecracker again. Go for the log. Bro, that guy has E-Golem number three down. Three Elixir Golems is crazy. And a Firecracker here. Fire Spirit again, and if I just go for the Knight, I think I'm okay. Wow, what a clean defense, guys. Very nice win. I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, we're in the next match here against Arius FCO. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this guy's end of the name <laughs> from Colorado. Just going to Firecracker the back here. With this deck, I do find my favorite starting play to either be Hog Rider or Firecracker in the back. Fire Spirit at the bridge or Skeletons in the back are fine too, or just logging on the tower. Pretty much anything but cycling a Tesla in the middle works, in my opinion. Okay, he has Battle Ram. I'm just going to Tesla here. Wait, he goes for the P.E.K.K.A., but that is two nice Hog Rider shots. All Skelly's here to keep my Tesla healthy to defend the P.E.K.K.A. That P.E.K.K.A. shouldn't really be too much of a worry without him having a Battle Ram. I'll Fire Spirit for the Bandit. Very nice fire spirit there. Dagger Duchess is really good at cleaning up the small units like bandits, royal ghosts, and stuff like that. I can just firecracker on that P.E.K.K.A. The other Dagger Duchess should help me out, and then I can just go for a Hog Rider here with the firecracker. Hog Rider isn't really too big of a threat versus Dagger Duchess, but when you have a firecracker behind it, it's a pretty big threat again. Ooh, I could actually probably activate my King Tower here versus that Evo Bomber. King Tower activation would be huge and probably win me the game. I'll just Knight here. Yeah, that's going to be a really good King Tower activation. Perfect. He does get one Bomber Bounce, but honestly, it doesn't really matter when you get the King up. Whenever you activate King Tower against a Bridge Spam deck, it usually means it's going to be game over. Alright, he Battle Rams in the back here. Just going to go for the Tesla in the middle. It will also cycle me to my Evolved Tesla. I'll Hog Rider too. If he goes for a P.E.K.K.A., I could maybe Evolved Firecracker the Bridge. Maybe I won't, though, just because that Hog Rider died pretty quickly and... I feel like if I go for the Evolved Firecracker, maybe I could choke the game. Yeah, I'll just Evolve Firecracker on defense here, then maybe Hog Rider in front of it, unless he... Okay, he goes for a Fireball. I'll just Skelly's here, just in case that P.E.K.K.A. wants to get a random shot on my tower, because you, you can never be too sure with the P.E.K.K.A. man, especially after that range buff. We can just Hog Rider here, and then I have the Firecracker ready in case he wants to go for anything. Okay, I'll just Firecracker on defense. Guys, honestly, most of the time against Bridge Spam decks... Firecracker in the back is better than at the bridge. It's just really difficult for them to stop, and they always have to overcommit. Okay, I can Evo Tesla here for the Little Prince and then Hog Rider. Anything he puts will die to my Evo Tesla. I can Firecracker on the P.E.K.K.A. here, and then I have my Skeletons ready to catch a Bandit. Okay, perfect. I'll just Skellies. Really nice Firecracker protection there. You always want to be ready for the Bandits. Okay, I can just log that Evo Bomber away. I don't need to worry about it anymore either. Man, this guy's not really playing too great. I can just go for the Knight plus Hog Rider at the bridge. I also do have the Evolved Firecracker. He wastes the Fireball. Okay, this is definitely an Evolved Firecracker, the bridge here. Nice, I get one splash. Maybe I could get two if I'm lucky. Oh, let's go. The, the, the double splash right there. <laughs> and then I can just Earthquake to finish off the tower. GG. We're against Swag McTurtle. <laughs> the most Swag Turtle I've ever seen. Just going to start off with the Hog Rider. Okay, he has a Cannon. Man, it really sucks that I didn't have my Earthquake ready. I usually don't like to Earthquake if they building and I don't really have the Earthquake ready because it's going to kill their building, but it's not really going to get me any Hog Rider shots on the tower because I wasn't like ready. The only way to get a Hog Rider hit 
when you go hog rider earthquake is by like placing the earthquake right away okay i can fire a spirit here to, to keep the firecracker alive it's always really good to keep your firecracker alive from small stuff like barbarian barrels a log here as well just to keep the firecracker getting as much damage as possible that bowler should stop lining up and then i can hog rider here as well to keep the bowler lined up with the firecracker <laughs> Man, I, I know this guy is raging about the firecracker right now. Look at all the damage it got. Like a quick, like, 1,200 damage, 1,400, and then I'll earthquake everything as well. And that firecracker is going to come up and start shooting the tower again. <laughs> Wait, is that the best firecracker of all time? Look at how much damage that got. That was nearly 2,000 damage from just one firecracker. <laughs> Wasn't even evolved. I'll hog rider here so he can't lightning my Tesla, and if he does, I'll just win the game. I know he has tornado, but it's all right. Sometimes you have to give people the King Tower activation just to make sure that they can't break through on offense. And obviously, if he did go for the Lightning there, he wouldn't have taken my tower. Or not even close, but I would have taken his entire tower with the Hog Rider. Okay, I'll just Firecracker the back again. I know this guy doesn't really have anything good for the Firecracker. The best way for this guy to counter Firecracker, I guess, is tornadoing it into his units. But obviously, you can't waste your tornado against a Hog Rider deck. And then he also has the Barbarian Barrel, but... <laughs> man i always just catch that i'll just tesla here in the middle yeah bad little prince ability there i'll just knight just to keep the tesla alive because i don't want him to go e giant at the bridge when i don't have anything for it he might e giant the back i'll just evolve firecracker what the what was that e giant hold up he bad nato too i'm just gonna go for the hog rider here and then i can just go for the evo tesla on defense he does have the cannon but it's fine by doing that hog rider once again he won't be able to lightning on my evolved tesla fire spirit the bridge is really good against him too he doesn't have any positive trade or even equal trade the best thing he can do is barbarian barrel okay i'll hog rider again then i can log he has to get back to a nato he's one card away okay he has nato now oh he missed <laughs> man that that was an ian tornado right there typical ian tornado all right, just going to skellies here, get back to my firecracker. If you just spam firecrackers against E-Giant, you should be golden. That's mainly what you want to do against Electro-Giant. Just play as many firecrackers as possible. The only, like, reliable way to kill it, I guess, is lightning. Fire spear here, keep it alive. Nice, let's go. What? Okay, I celebrated too soon. <laughs> Man, at least that hog rider got a shot. I'm going to evolve firecracker too, so he has to lightning it, and then I can just Tesla on defense. I just uh, don't want him to lightning my Tesla. And even if he does now, it's way too late. That Electro Giant's already dead. I'll just cycle two Earthquakes, and that will be good game. Very easy game right here. Hold up, hold up. Just got to go for the Tesla on the Electro Giant. <laughs> Man, this guy thought he was slick with that Electro Giant, the bridge, when I thought he gave up. Earthquake and GG's. Really, really easy game there. Man, I feel like I'm playing pretty good today with the Hog EQ. We're in the next match here against I love you, Ayala. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just because uh, Jaime means I love you in French, but he doesn't have the apostrophe. I'll just go for the hog rider here. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I do actually speak a little bit of French. Shout out to all of my fans who speak French or are from France, anything like that. <laughs> just a little fun fact about me. I do actually speak a little bit of French. I don't speak a lot of French, but I do know like a little bit. I guess I can like say my name, greet people, I guess, and maybe have, like, the tiniest conversation ever. Okay, I'm just gonna firecracker the back again. Okay, it's gonna be a mirror matchup, actually. I do have the Dagger Duchess, though. Dagger Duchess should help me out quite a bit. I'm gonna hog rider here. He's probably just gonna Tesla. Yeah. I'm not even gonna earthquake. I don't want to overspend. I just want to make sure that I have my Tesla ready for his next hog rider. I feel like nothing will really happen in single elixir in this matchup as long as neither of us mess up. Okay, wait, I think I could just knight here, and then if I log, I'll take maybe one hog rider hit. Man, he did actually end up out cycling me, which is well played by him. Maybe I could try to get a hog rider shot back by going hog behind my knight. Now, nah, that's not going to do anything because he firecrackered early. Well played by him. I could get a nice king tower activation, though. Or I could evolve firecracker. I'm going to evolve firecracker here, and then I could maybe hog rider with it. Yeah, I'm going to hog rider. Oh, no, I was a second too late. Okay, that's all good, though. I'm going to earthquake here on the Tesla. Nice. That should be at least one hit. Two if I'm lucky. Aw, he skeletons. All right, though. I went from being down 200 damage to up 1,000 nearly. <laughs> we, we take those, guys. We take those. The small wins. I have my Tesla ready. Oh, he let the Fire Spirit go. Man, Fire Spirit does more damage than a Fireball. How many of you guys knew that the Fire Spirit did more than a Fireball if left alone? That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Okay, I can Tesla here up top again. Then I have the knight if i want to activate the king tower 
Oh, I can't even because that Tesla is just staying alive the whole time. This is like the one time I wish my Tesla would die. I'll just Firecracker the Night Fire Spear. I can Evo Tesla too. Perfect. I just didn't want that Hog Rider get, to get that shot. I feel like I worked so hard to get this damage lead. I can't just let him have it back for free. I'll Firecracker predict his Tesla. Oh, that was well paid. Wait, Firecracker shot? Wait, also my Knight. He has to watch out for my Knight. Oh, okay. Firecracker shot? Nice. Let's go. I got the Firecracker hit. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Hog Rider again. I, I just need to spam cards down to outcycle him. He doesn't have Tesla. He does now. That night shot? Two night shots? Let's go. I'm going to evolve Firecracker here on these skeletons. <laughs> Wait, maybe my Firecracker could shoot again? All right, I'm just going to log that to death. This is looking really good, man. I'm up 2,000 damage in the mirror matchup. Oh, he gave up. Let's go, man. <laughs> I don't know why this guy is so upset, man. He lost a mirror matchup fair and square. I'll see you guys in the next match. We're in the next match here against Hypno. Hypno is actually one of the best log bait players. He always plays these like whack log bait decks on top ladder. <laughs> I'll just earthquake here for the Tesla. Oh, nice. I caught the princess at the bridge. Man, I saw this guy using this crazy deck. I'm not even going to call it a log bait deck. This crazy like spam deck with like four one elixir cards, a Tesla, a Valkyrie, a princess, and a poison. That's one of the craziest decks I've ever seen before. It does seem like he dropped down a little bit, though, because I I think he was a little bit higher up on ladder. I knew this deck wouldn't work for too long, man. This deck is just too crazy. <laughs> I'll hog rider down the middle. I like to hog rider down the middle against princess decks just in case they princess the bridge at the same time. I feel like the only way for this guy to win is with princess at the bridge. Otherwise, he's just going for the poison on the tower over and over again. And as long as I don't really let any or many princesses connect i'll win oh i didn't get the knight down in time man that's not good he's all he's already like equaling up in damage i'll just hog and then pre-log for the f ice spirit please no bro with that hit i would have got a hog rider shot at least that knight gets two shots i'm up in damage over on the right going same lane is and isn't good i feel like like it will be nice sometimes but at the same time i think it could also hurt me if he stacks up princesses in the opposite lane I will have my knight ready again, and this time I will react in time. I'll just knight in the middle, just in case. Oh, bro, that was the worst timing ever. Okay, I'm just going to fire spirit for the Evo Skeletons. He always tries these, like, funny tricks with Evo Skeletons. I kind of have to give him his credit. Okay, I'll hog earthquake here. Nice Tesla. He is definitely going to princess at the bridge. Okay, I'll just skellies. Log. Oh my, bro. <laughs> I forgot that my log doesn't kill a princess. Bro, that actually takes me back to, like, 2019 when my log didn't kill a princess because it was only level 11 in my and, and and the max level was level 13 back in the day okay i'm just gonna firecracker here i know he's gonna tesla for my firecracker so i'll predict it with my knight nice i could go for a hog rider now he has no tesla i mean by the time my ho time my hog even gets placed he'll have an, an, another tesla i'll just earthquake here oh he messed up nice okay i'll take that Bro, that stutter was also so bad. Nobody talk about that stutter. Bro, I like stuttered like eight times in a row. <laughs> I'll just knight here to maybe block a princess. Nice. Okay, I'm going to firecracker here. Fire spirit for the Evo Skellies and Hog Rider again. He does have another Tesla little earthquake here. Looks like he gave up. Yeah, nice. I'll take it, man. GG's. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.